All right, guys. Day four of the spiritual challenge. Time to close your computer. Time to put your phone aside. And we're going to do a setup for our work day. Really important that we continue this practice through our work. I know sometimes we can get scattered and get going and we get to work. And it's like, uh. So whether you do it first thing at work or whether you do it at lunch. I know when I was uh, working in a regular job, lunch was a big time for me to regroup, take some time for myself, and refocus my energy. So whatever it is for you, let me know. Can you do it first thing in the morning? Is a lunch time a good time to do it? And you can even do it at the very end of the day, all right? Maybe you're working with counseling and clients and maybe you need to have that peace for yourself at the end of the day. Whatever it is, it's important to just establish that routine. So here I am, this is kind of the other half of my spiritual center, right? This is where I do a lot of my working, right? I'm at my desk and I've got a few things here that are kind of special to my working environment. I've got my little angel, she keeps me really aligned and really remembering where I am. I brought some of the sage oil, so if you can't really light um, sage or any Palo, uh, Palo Santo or anything at your work, Bring in some sage oil, all right? Smells good, it grounds your energy, you won't be obtrusive to those around you, and it really does do the same thing that burning the sage does as well, activating that energy. I have another little crystal I keep by me, all right? That helps to really do it. I've got my water. And for this particular ritual, get yourself a notebook or a piece of paper. Got my brand new TEDx Birmingham notebook. Yeah, because we're going to do a little to-do list, like just dump on and get it all out of your head. All right, so how's everybody doing with the rituals, right? How's it going? I've been loving the sacred spaces we've been seeing. And now's the opportunity to create that little space for your desk and your work environment as well. And again, we bring the same things to it. We look at a few elements. So you're getting it now, A, air, F, fire, E, earth, W, water. We bring those things to our desk as well. Really important that we have these activities, that we have these things to create a really empowered space for yourself, not only at home, but also in your work environment, no matter where that is, right? We all work in so many different environments these days, but especially if you work in like a closed space, if you're in an office building all day long, having that space for you is gonna help you show up to your work even stronger each and every day. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna just kind of pull it in again. We're gonna call in, we're gonna do some breathing, and then when we finish, we're gonna add that little bit of just dumping everything out on a piece of paper that you have left to do today. When we get it out of the head, it helps us to stay organized, and you'll notice the rest of your day can be so much more focused. I know that's what it does for me. I've had to help help. <laughs> I've had to have help doing this because I just get going. I'm a creative mind and I just have so many things. But I find when I take these breaks and just dump out what I need to do, even if it's all over the paper, it helps me to get it done. All right? So let's just take a moment or two wherever you are. There's a little bowl. Just take a few moments, I won't keep you long. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale away. Take your essential oil, take a moment, put it in your hands. Take a nice deep inhale and just let that shift your energy. Exhale away, feel the feet flat on the floor, sending it down deep into the earth. Inhaling and exhaling feel your energy coming back here's where we add in the invocation that we did yesterday as you inhale open up call in your higher self allow the higher self to come in that aligns the spiritual body with the physical body here you are at work call in your work guides why not inhaling and exhaling continue to send the breath all the way down this is really important that we call back our energy. It could be scattered all across the day, right? All across your morning. Inhaling, opening up to that higher self. Exhaling, sending the energy down. Feel yourself coming back, coming back into center. Inhaling, opening up the breath. Opening up to the guidance that you need for the rest of the day. 
exhaling, sending down the emotional energy. Let it go. Send it down deep into the earth. Inhaling. And exhaling, feeling that alignment with your higher self right over the crown chakra. Feel that sixth chakra, fifth, fourth, third, second, first, all in alignment as you send the excess energy down. Inhale, bringing up from the earth, opening up all the way through the crown chakra, through your higher self. Exhaling, sending it all the way down. Just taking a moment to be really present. Inhaling and exhaling. Feeling the quiet energy around you. Maybe there's chatter going on all around, just coming into your space. Continuing the breath up and down the body. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Let all the chatter release. Feel the centering as you continue that breath. As you exhale, pull the navel center in. Let it go deep. Activate the parasympathetic. Inhaling, opening up. Exhale, releasing back down deep into the earth. A few more breaths. Inhaling. And exhaling. And just for a moment, notice within, do a little body scan. Whose energy are you holding on to? Maybe it's a co-worker's. And just with intention, send that down. With the exhale, deep into the earth, clearing out the energy that's not yours. Inhaling. And exhaling. Gathering all of your energy back from the day, pulling it in right into that central alignment, pulling it in. Feeling the calmness coming back around. I know sometimes at this point of the day we can feel a little bit anxious to get going, but this is what we need to do to slow down. Inhaling. And exhaling. Drawing in your energy. Pulling it all back, centering your energy, feeling the feet grounded on the floor. Calling in your higher self. And now as we come out of the meditation, just ask, what all do I have left to do today? And before you even go any further, just begin to write down everything you have to do. Just write it down. All the many things, jot it down, doesn't matter the order, just write it down so it becomes all out of your head. Continue writing. Take deep breaths as you're doing this. Let that breathing continue. And then as you finish the last thing, take a nice deep glass of water. Feel yourself centered back. Notice your surroundings. Remember you're at work and come back. And now you have your to-do list. Now you feel a little bit more refreshed and you can finish your day. All right. So whether you're at home or whether you're at work, really important that we build this ritual. Maybe you work from home and maybe in the first thing in the morning, all you need to do is sit down at your desk and do the same thing. That's part of your spiritual practice. Really important. We need to show up to work feeling empowered, feeling strong in our energy, knowing when we're taking on others, and knowing how to release out that excess energy. All right, so keep it up. Post below. Let me know how you work with yourself at work, how your rituals are going, what you bring to your work. Show me some pictures of your desk. I'd love to see that as well so that you can continue your spiritual practice. All right, post below. I've enjoyed hearing from you guys so much. I love the interaction. I love it so much. Yes, definitely. Keep on, keep on. All right, guys, have a great day.
Tomorrow's ritual is the bath. So I'll be back tomorrow evening with that. I'm excited to show you that as well. Definitely a little spoiler alert. Keep on, keep on. Invite your friends in. Come on and join us. Have a great one. Happy spring day. Namaste.